Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. In this week's tip, we're going to take a look at creating a new ledger for the patient when they have a change to their insurance. We're going to start by going to our patient list. We'll pull up John Smith and go to his ledger. Currently on John's ledger, there's insurance number one going to BAJ Insurance and number two, Delta Dental of Arizona. I've done a video to show you how you can modify the insurance that's attached to existing charges. In this video, we're gonna tackle it from a different angle. If a patient tells you they've changed insurance plans, I'm gonna show you how to start off with a clean ledger attached to the new insurance plan instead of updating an existing ledger. I'm gonna go ahead to John Smith's patient information screen just by clicking his name up here at the top and we'll find under his insurance, he currently has the BAJ listed as primary and Delta of Arizona as secondary. Perhaps John no longer has BAJ for his insurance, so we'll simply remove that item. And if he still does carry the Delta Dental, we're gonna move it up into the primary position. Relationship to subscriber, we have as self, and then we'll simply type in the insurance code here, plug in our group number, plug in our ID number, and then I'm gonna remove the secondary insurance so it only displays Delta of Arizona as primary and save our changes. Currently on the ledger, you can still see we have BAJ and Delta of Arizona attached to the patient. Typically when you look at the ledger, you'll have show all recent and open billings selected. And what that does is lets you see all charges regardless of which ledger those charges are attached to. Each ledger is assigned what we call a billing number in the system. Each billing number has a specific insurance company attached to it. So in the previous video where I showed you to view billing options and fill the current insurance attached to that billing number, that was essentially updating all of the transactions on that billing number with whatever insurance the patient turned out to have. I'm gonna go ahead and close the screen and in this situation, we don't want to change an existing grouping of transactions to a different insurance plan. We want to create a new ledger. So going forward, the new charges will be attached only to the primary insurance, which should now be Delta of Arizona. So if you do have show all recent and open billings selected, in order to open the new ledger, you want to start by deselecting that option so we can isolate the billing numbers listed here at the top. Your next step is going to be to click on new billing. And what that does is open up a new billing number or ledger number and assign that to the patient with the insurance that's currently listed on his patient information screen, which would be Delta of Arizona. So it's important to update the patient information screen before you open the new billing or new ledger. At this point, I would click new transaction, add in my procedure codes that happened today, and save my changes. And when I go to create a claim for this item, we'll be able to see that that claim is attached to Delta of Arizona and no other insurance plan. In the previous video, which I'll attach to today's tip of the week, so you can review that, I showed you how to go into the billing options for this billing number and change the insurance that was attached to it here. By creating a new billing anytime the insurance company changes in any way, you're able to preserve the insurance plans that were attached to previous charges, which will make it easier to regenerate a claim that you might have to resubmit from four months ago. Now, if I use my drop down menu and go to the old billing or ledger number, I'll be able to see that at that time, these charges were going to BAJ and to Delta of Arizona as the secondary insurance. Now, if I want to see the account as a whole, all I have to do is click Show All Recent and Open Billings, and it combines all the billing numbers together so you can see the grand total of the account and also get a better understanding of what the patient has had done. You'll notice when we're looking at All Recent and Open Billings, we have a couple insurances layered together here. So it's showing you all of the insurance plans associated with all of the billing numbers since we're looking at all recent and all open billings. If you only have one billing number selected on the patient's ledger, if you go to print a statement for the patient, it will still capture their entire account balance regardless of billing number. 
If you would like to print out just charges from a specific date of service, the best way to do so is to print a ledger and select the date range that you wish to capture. Instances where you may open a new billing is if the patient goes from having insurance to not having it, not having insurance to having it, or switching insurance companies or insurance plans altogether. Other situations where you may open a new billing number is if under the billing options, you have a different place of service for a specific set of charges that you need to indicate. If you have any further questions regarding creating a new billing, hence a new ledger for the patient, please feel free to contact Dentamax at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.